I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I will do it. Today, I'm going to do a review on a hentai based on, you guessed it, virgins. <laughs> well, the title's called Virgin Auction, so I'm pretty sure you could, you can dissect from that title alone that you're in for a real treat. <laughs> Where do I even begin with this one? It's a major head scratcher. No, it's really a semi quasi plutonic sort of basic plot. Revolves around these three girls. I don't even care. They, they mention their names, but I. You got. Thing one, thing two, and thing three. But hey, I'm not saying women are things. They are some things. But these characters are... They're not bland, really. I mean... Eh. Eh. But... They have their own little unique sort of backstories. Uh, the one, she is, I guess, half Japanese, half American maybe? I mean, she has like silver hair or something, but she, well, her, her dialect sounds messed up because she speaks some other language, but she can also speak fluent Japanese, but it sounds a little weird. If you're watching it in Japanese, yeah, you can tell. If you're watching it in English, everyone sounds the same. So these three girls, they have to stay in this building. They can eat whatever they want, they can use whatever they want there, but they have to stay in the building for three weeks. And when the three weeks are up, that's when they get auctioned off and, you know, that's when they do the do. But while they're in this building, they have to get examined by this woman with purple hair and she has a slave who is actually the manager of the place but she kind of takes control of him female dominatrix and uh... yeah she's just the worst anyways back to the girls we have this other one, she has like green hair, kind of like Bulma, but she's probably the most sort of upbeat one out of them. She, uh, I guess apparently was sodomized and every other type of thing was done to her but actually losing her virginity, so that's when we have to delve into this this crevice and really get get our bodies inside and to really understand what these characters are feeling and going through and I feel that as a viewer watching this masterpiece it's that we connect to one of these three girls and though it's not something we want to enjoy it's something we have to endure as an experience. Mm. Oh yeah, and the last girl, she's um... Oh, they kind of messed around with that. I thought she was a virgin at first, then after the first episode I was like, wait, she's not? But then they tricked us a little bit. There's only two episodes, by the way, but... I don't know, I guess she's not, but... I don't know, I'm looking way too into this. This is just fucked up. I give this hentai half a tissue and one bottle.
of Vaseline.